Were you surprised when the 30 day weigh in? Were you surprised that Kelbrook weighed 176 pounds? Mabel, you could answer this also. Not surprised. It's not a big surprise for me. Because I saw him. He is not a small guy. He is like, he is shoulder knee. He is. He is looks big. Not surprised. Not. I think he is on the stand right now. He weighed, especially for middleweight. He's a serious, serious fight for us. You know, not just for him, but for me. Easy, you know, serious. When I fought him four years ago, he was uh, a, a young guy, and he was having a difficult time making weight. Uh, unfortunately, in this business, things get out of training camps, and I heard that for three or four days he was thrown up trying to make trying to make weight uh, for the Carson fight. So that was four years ago. And I imagine he's grown, uh, he's matured, his body's matured, so I knew that he was going to be, uh, he was going to have a hard time making 47. I wondered often, uh, uh, before this fight, uh, how long he would keep that, the water weight up. And, and hearing the weight just reaffirms not only that, when we saw him in, in London, damn, he was huge, he looked like a bodybuilder. His arms were huge, he was cut. So, surprised, yes, but not really surprised. Hey, over here. Just raise your hand. How surprised were you uh, yeah, a little bit surprised. I don't want to say I, don't want to say I wasn't, but um, uh, we have gone through so many names. In fact, back when the Rosado fight happened, uh, we met with HBO and Tom presented me with 20 names in the 54 and 60 pound, 60 pound division. They're not a name that I turned down. Uh, Brooke wasn't in it, but uh, Brooke being a champion and wanting to challenge himself, uh, as Shane did to fight Oscar, as uh, Team to fight Hopkins, guys like that. Um, he's having a hard time that we are in the opponent, so it's a natural. Hi, this is for Abel and also Gennady. Um, some people like recently, because you've had problems getting like Kelbrook, that's that's a real challenge. That's a very good opponent. But you've had problems at this weight class. Some people have been critical about not going up in weight. What do you have to say to that? Like both of you. But I, I mean, first of all, I think that's a question for Tom, but from what we know, from, from what we know, there's, there's been offers and there's been uh, uh, promoters that have stated that they, their fighters want to fight Golovkin, but the unfortunate thing is that's all they say. I, I saw a t-shirt not too long ago that had a, a picture of Canelo on it, and it had, uh, I want to fight GGG, and underneath it said, just not next. <laughs> and it seems like all of them are like that. I would hope that after this fight's over, if we're successful, that uh, they come out of the woodwork and they call Tom before Tom settles another fight. They call Tom so while, while there's still a chance that a, a fight can be signed, uh, instead of waiting like BJ did and like uh, Danny did. Uh, once the fight is signed, it's kind of difficult to go back on, on the award.